What? Man, what? Nothing. Must be my imagination. Man, you're even weirder than you were back in New Orleans. You know that? Yeah. I do know that. I think that's about it. Guess I'll head out. Sounds good to me. I'm surprised the cops haven't shown up yet. Oh, they will. And I'm sure they will appreciate your thoughtful protection of the murder scene. Hey, uh, Madeline. And what are you doing here, Monsieur Knight? Why don't you call me Gabriel? This Monsieur stuff is so... French. All right. What are you doing here, Gabriel? I came to keep Moe's company. He's a bit squeamish, you know. Never could stand the sight of blood. Shut up, you hoser. Hmm. I am beginning to think there is more to both of you than meets the eye. Oh, there's more, all right. In my... Not you animal head. So what brings you here, Madeline? I came to wait for the police. They are French police, after all. So you and you, Monsieur Mosley, may feel you have done your duty. Au revoir. A bientôt. Tout ou. Your wish is my command. Uh, by the way, Gabriel, can you tell me the two dead men's names? Me? I saw you and your little girlfriend talking to them last night in the parking lot. Oh, huh. see, Gracie, uh, my assistant, caught a ride with them from Paris, but she didn't know them. Hm. That sounds very odd to me, but uh, perhaps the police will be more understanding. Oh, come on. There's no need to waste their time. Maybe you and I can go over it more thoroughly later. Very well. I look forward to it. See you, Madeline. Toodaloo. Hey, could you... Shit. Uh, give me a ride, will you? Get on. Just make sure those hush puppies don't mar the chrome. You used to be a lot funnier. You know that? And you could touch your toes once. Shit happens. How's it going? Oh, no thanks. So, how's the book? Hmm? Let me just finish this part here. I kind of like to know what the book says. Yeah, 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 as soon as I'm done. I'm back. Just uh, put the pizza on the table. Grace, aliens just landed outside. They've got your mother. Yeah, in a minute. Oh, Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Can you turn that down, please? Yes. Well, come in, Mr. Knight. I'm afraid I can only spare a few moments. I appreciate that. You know, a friend of mine, Grace, uh, she drove into town yesterday with a couple of guys. Uh, friends of Prince James of Albany. Real nice guys. Scottish, I think. <coughs> Mallory and McDougal, I believe their names were. Are you going somewhere with this, Mr. Knight? I was wondering if you knew him. No, I'm afraid not. Perhaps it's unclear who I'm talking about. You must know them, because after they dropped off Grace last night, they came here. I saw you let them in. Two men. Two men. Last night. Yes, a car did stop here last night. They asked directions. They were only here for a few minutes. Is there a problem? Not for you, I suppose. Do you have any idea where Mallory and McDougal are now? No. I gave them directions and they took off again. Have, um, have you seen them? Yep. Oh, where? They're dead. Their bodies were found at the devil's armchair. Just down the road. My God. You seem surprised. Of course I'm surprised. About those two men who stopped here last night? Yes. This may sound strange, but I was taking a walk by the parking area next door, and I thought I saw you all exchange an awfully complicated handshake for two guys who stopped for directions, that is. How dare you spy on me? I want you to leave. 
No. Are you a Freemason, Mr. Chester? No. Or must I call the police? I think you know those men and Prince James. And I think you know the real reason those men were here. I'm trying to help Prince James myself, even if that means pissing people off. Mr. Knight, I haven't the slightest idea who you are or what you're talking about. Right. Uh-huh. Well, thanks for your time. Now, if I can just press the alarm button. 2 a.m. Got it. That's the car Prince James's men arrived in. Mallory and McDougal could have parked the car here, but I don't know why they'd bother to hide it. It's more likely that the killers stashed it here. Maybe they grabbed Mallory and McDougal somewhere else and brought them here to be... executed. Oh, Mr. Buzz, I'm so sorry. What a klutz I am. It is quite all right. I was not paying attention. I... Oh, no, it, it's my fault entirely. I was worrying about something else and not watching at all. And Lady Howard, is she recovering? Yes, she's resting quietly. Thank you. I am very glad to hear that. Good day, Miss Stiles. Good day, Mr. Bowser. Hi, Estelle. Everything okay? Did you follow me here, Mr. Knight? Me? Uh-huh. I just stopped to see if you needed help. I do not need help. But thank you for your concern. Don't mention it. So, uh, how come Lady Howard's not with you? Kinda joined at the hip, ain't you? She's had a very difficult morning. I would have stayed with her, but, um, uh, time is of the essence. How did you meet Lady Howard, anyway? Her family was the largest landholders in my village. I knew her growing up, of course, but we never played together. She made quite a name for herself on the stage, you know, when she was younger. Huh. And I was working in London myself as a nurse. I went to see her perform. Well, we became uh, friends. When my father died and left me the cottage, we moved back to Hampstead. It's not exactly the manor she was born to, but it was sold years ago. Ironically, it's on the market again. Does Lady Howard still perform? Well, she's taking a break from her career. So, what's out here? You can see for yourself. Doesn't look like anything to me. But then you wouldn't be here if that was the case now, would you? Some people don't care to tell other people their business. Oh, that's kind of rude, isn't it? It was a perfectly friendly question. Oh, I, I'm sorry. It's just that Lily really prefers we keep our business to ourselves. Some people can be ruthless, you know, particularly... Men? Well, now that you've said so yourself, 